The latest release of SimCenter 3D includes many new capabilities for motion simulation that can help you speed simulation with contacts, add more options for flexible links, build more complex motion models, and evaluate results faster and more intuitively. Now let's see how these enhancements come together to allow you to build this simulation of a wheel loader and trailer, which would have been very difficult to achieve with previous versions of SimCenter 3D Motion. New analytical contact definitions available in this release can compute 3D contact faster and with smoother contact force results than contacts defined by using geometry. 3D geometry-based contacts were initially defined between the barrel and loader bucket in this model. You can see the force results are very noisy due to the tessellation of the geometry. However, when you replace the 3D geometry-based contact with new analytical contact definition, then you can see the resulting forces are far less noisy and they are also computed faster. Next, we have added the ability to define flexible bodies using modal data generated in ANSYS. Previously, you could only use data from NX NASRAN or MSC NASRAN, but now you can use the modal data contained in an ANSYS RST file as a basis for a flexible body in SimCenter 3D Motion using the same exact workflow. A new lightweight results viewing application includes new scenario-based post-processing to visualize the graph data from several types of data sources in multiple synchronized viewports. In this case, we can use pre-configured post-processing views, referred to as scenarios, to evaluate data from two different results files. This helps you to visualize results to select, filter, and shape the data into a format that's easy to interpret. Next, let's move to the trailer to see the new ability to create flexible links as spline beams, which uses a spline beam to represent the flexibility of a body for specific geometric characteristics using a beam formulation. This is ideal for modeling the leaf spring of this trailer and can help you to predict the nonlinear deformation of constant shape section elements in large displacements. And perhaps the most important new capability in SimCenter 3D Motion for this release is the ability to create submechanisms. A submechanism is an assembly mechanism that you add to a parent mechanism, and in this case, it allows us to bring the entire model together in a modular fashion. The leaf spring submechanism can be instanced and duplicated within the trailer mechanism. Then we can bring the trailer submechanism into a larger model with the wheel loader. We can even instance and duplicate the trailer submechanism and connect the submechanisms together to create a four wheeled trailer. Submechanisms allow you to efficiently assemble and manage modular mechanisms such as the full model you see here. These capabilities and more are now available in SimCenter 3D Motion to help you expand your analyses and improve productivity. Visit Siemens PLM today to learn more about what's new in SimCenter 3D.